assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Oru technical developer so if you guys remember in the previous video we have added email field in the sales order and we have added the copy text uh, button in front of the field so if you haven't watched that video please go and watch the, uh, the video so in this video we are going to talk about a very important topic which is uh, to pass the data from the sales order to the invoice so what we need to do what are the steps that we need to follow is uh, first of all we need to find the method that is uh, currently uh, passing the default auto data to the invoice so for this purpose we need to first activate the debug mode and how we can activate the debug mode is to a debug uh, a question mark debug is equal to one after web and uh, so this way the debug mode will uh, get activated and then we need to uh, and check the method behind this uh, button so uh, uh, if we click on this button a wizard will open up and with three options so here is the button that is creating the invoice against this sales order so there are two buttons so if we see uh, this button it is create invoices and the next button method is also create invoices so let me go to uh, Udo Adams and then let me check for this method create diff uh, is the definition create invoices and stuff like this so we need to find this method inside py file so this is the method that we are looking for so let me open this method so here is the condition that if the payment method is delivered so let me check here uh, this option is actually advanced payment method so we will uh, create a regular invoice i will not go into the detail of these three uh, options so i will discuss in another video but uh, this first um, condition will be true in this case and it will call this uh, method to uh, create the invoices so let me copy this method and search inside the addons like this and let me add def to uh, get to the uh, method directly so here we can see two search options so here the first one is in repair.py model and the second one is sales module so this is the method that we are looking for so i will open this a uh, second method and here in this method uh, there are different things that you need to understand but i will go directly into the method which is create which is passing the data from the sales order to the invoice so if you go here here is this uh, for for loop for uh, the sales order so uh, and here is uh, the method to prepare the data for creating the invoice so if we uh, search this method inside this file like in the addons uh, like this and let me add def so here we have multiple searches available for this so where we need to find it we need to find it inside the sales module so here you can see here is the sales module sales and uh, models.py so let me open this one and here this is the method that is responsible for uh, passing the data from the sales order to the invoice so let me copy this whole uh, method and uh, so this method is inside uh, which model so for uh, in order to find the model we need to scroll up and here uh, we will see the model name okay so here is the sales model which is inside the sales model so this method is actually defined inside the sales model and we need to inherit this uh, or write this method inside the sales uh, dot order model so if you go to our um, custom module which we have already created odo sales od sales custom in this uh, we have added a file sales.py and inside this we have a model we have inherited a model already which is sales.order so we need to paste this method so uh, we just need to remove everything except uh, the last thing which is fail so what this method does it returns all the values uh, that we need to pass to the uh, uh, that we need to pass to the invoice so for this purpose we will use uh, super to 
to uh, call the actual method and return these values and then we will update this dictionary so we will uh, make it like invoice values is equal to super so we will use super call so what this super call means it will uh, uh, it will call the actual method and it will return all the data that is return uh, returned by the actual method and it will store in this variable so as the data is in the dictionary format so here uh, we will get the data in the dictionary format so let, let me print it uh, in voice values so let me print this data uh, so that you can understand what i am talking about and let me restart go to service okay and then uh, let me click this button so as soon as i click on this button uh, you will see in the logs like this so you can see in the logs it uh, passes the data like ref type invoice narration so all this data has been uh, passed to the invoice so on uh, these databases it will create the invoice and what we can do here is um, if you find uh, the type of this data it will be of type dictionary so we can easily update uh, the data of the dictionary so what we will do we will add like invoice values dot update we can use update method and we can use uh, these uh, breakers to update the value of this dictionary so uh, we have the choice so let me update it like this uh, so this is the key uh, what it cast uh, email means cast email means is the field of the name that is defined in uh, invoice model and we will have to edit here so the both of the fields are uh, have the same name like in the sales order and, and in the invoice in this case but if it is different we need to add the field uh, name exactly which is defined in the invoice model and here we need to add uh, self dot uh, self dot um, cast email so here we need to define the email id which is defined in the sales order the field which is defined in the sales model so let me uh, restart odoo service so first of all let me print it uh, invoice values before this so let me edit it before before the up, uh, this update update and after this update okay so this will actually update uh, the customer email and it will be passed to the invoice and then we need to return it okay so uh, let me cancel this uh, invoice and then I will delete it so that I can create it again okay so let me create this click this button and then uh, create and view invoice so let me check the logs along with this so in the logs we have this one before uh, the invoice uh, before the update of this value and here is after so if you can, you can see in the before dictionary there is not a customer email field but in the after dictionary it is uh, updated like customer email just at the rate of mail.com so if you go here and here you can see it has been updated from the sales order so the value has been passed to the sales order uh, from the sales order to the invoice so this is how you can inherit uh, and or write a method and this is how you can pass values from the sales order to the invoice so in the next video i will discuss how you can add uh, a field in the invoice lines and how you can pass other values from the sales order lines to the invoice lines so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.